This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another home edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest today is Eric Pan, who is actually from Pittsburgh. Frankly, he lived just a couple of doors from me, really, in uh, Mount Lebanon. And he's just recently been named the president and CEO of the Investment Company Institute in Washington, D.C. Eric, congratulations and welcome to the show. I'm glad to be here. So how does a Pittsburgh boy end up in Washington, D.C., heading up a major organization like the Investment Company Institute? Oh, well, there's no, there's, there, there's no secret formula, right place at the right time. Uh, you know, I left Pittsburgh, became a lawyer, uh, ended up settling in Washington, and I've just been working with uh, investment companies for a very long time. So I'm very fortunate to have this role. Well, I think a lot of folks watching are probably scratching their heads and saying, what exactly is the ICI and what's an investment company? So the ICI is a global trade association of investment funds. So think mutual funds, uh, exchange traded funds, and other investment vehicles that probably uh, a lot of the people watching the show right now have money in. Uh, you know, we have over 100 million Americans um, are investors in the funds that our members operate. And there's about $34 trillion uh, in money that's managed by our members. So we're talking about our 401ks, our RIAs, uh, and the various funds like you know Vanguard, Fidelity. I don't want to start promoting any of these, but there's a whole lot of them out there, right? Uh, no, definitely. You're right. 401ks, IRAs, the you know your basic mutual funds. In fact, one of our most important members is Federated here in Pittsburgh. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, so. What exactly does your organization do as a, as a representative of these investment companies? Are you kind of like lobbyists on Capitol Hill? So we do a variety of activities. So the first thing is we as a member organization work on ethical standards for um, how these funds are managed. We also work on regulatory issues. So we're interfacing with Congress and the SEC on good regulation. Um, and then we also have a number of financial education literacy programs to try to educate people on how they can use these funds to save for retirement, for a new house, for their kids' education. Uh, so we do a lot of things. You know, from a consumer standpoint, and a lot of, as you point out, a lot of our viewers will actually be invested in the market in one form or another. Um, COVID, how has that impacted your, your companies and frankly, investors, even those of us who uh, invest through our 401ks. Right, so look, COVID's an unprecedented event, global pandemic, uh, you know, we've had to, to shut down businesses and, 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 and prevent restaurants from, from having customers. And so this is gonna have a big impact on the markets. You know, I think the, the lesson of COVID is, um, you know, events happen, and as people are investing for the long term and they're thinking about their life goals, diversification of investment becomes really important. You know, the stock market um, um, has done well uh, despite what's going on. Uh, certain businesses have done really well. And so when people are thinking about investing, uh, they should be looking at all the different factors. And investing through regulated funds is one of the best ways of doing so. And probably one of the safest ways. Yes, I mean, you know, our members offer a variety of products um, that allow you to diversify, whether it be in bonds or equities, target date funds that, that adjust over time. So a number of choices. Well, Eric Pan, the new president and CEO of the Investment Company Institute out of Pittsburgh. Congratulations again. Thank you very much for being with me today. Well, thank you for having me. And thank you for watching us on this edition of the Sunday Business Page. To all our Christian friends, have a very merry and healthy Christmas.